This is Teach Like a Champion, strategy number 33, cold call. You will need the following materials before you get started. The Teach Like a Champion 2.0 field guide, paper and a pencil, and energy for practice. As teachers, we love seeing our students raise their hands to participate. But I want you to think about the following question. When asking a question, what is the problem with only calling on students who raise their hands? Pause this video to discuss. If we only called on raised hands, we would never hear the amazing ideas from the shy student who knows the answer, but is too nervous to raise their hand. We would never hear the brilliant insights from the student who thinks he's too cool to participate. Some students may never raise their hands willingly, for whatever reason. Does that mean we should never call on them to answer a question and participate? Participants will be able to identify three places where it would be beneficial to use cold call and draft an introduction for rolling out cold call to your students. Let's see Navigator teachers practice this technique. When you watch this video, look for how many times did the teacher cold call on students and why is she doing this? Pointers on box one. Pointers on box one. Diego, word what? Everyone? Wait. What does wait to mean when it's written in that way? Nicole? What we're going to do today is finish. The way written in the box means like how much you need. Like a measurement of weight. So could you use weight in a sentence? I did not measure my weight yesterday. <laughs> Word number two, Brooke. I wonder which one is straight. Everyone? Straight. Word number three, Jocelyn. Healthy. Everyone? Healthy. Word number four, Elena. Sugar. Everyone? Sugar. Sugar. Pointers on box two. Pointers on box two. Alexander? Panty. Everyone? Panty. Track Jalen. Jalen. Jalen, what does panty mean? It means What's it? Please pause this video to reflect on the questions, either aloud with a group or silently by yourself. Now that you've had a chance to reflect, hopefully you notice that the teacher used cold call on six different students. She did this to keep all students engaged and on their toes. Why do you think this technique would be important for student engagement? Please pause this video to discuss with the group or silently reflect. This technique is important for student engagement because it helps maintain the expectation that everyone participates and is engaged in the lesson. The expectation becomes that any student might be called on at any moment to share his or her answer or opinion. This technique can increase efficiency and build momentum. Cold calling can bring energy and a fast pace to the lesson. So, we've come to our core idea. Calling on students regardless of whether they've raised their hands or not increases student engagement and participation, allows the teacher to more efficiently check for understanding, and increases think ratio. So, how do you cold call on students in a productive way? First, you need to keep it positive. Be predictable by using it often. Don't try and surprise your students. This can leave them feeling ambushed. Make cold call a norm in your classroom. You also need to make it systematic. Unless you are looking to collect data on a particular student, include all students in your cold call. Call on students from all around the classroom. Lastly, unbundle your questions. Ask smaller questions so that you have a greater opportunity to cold call on students.
For your practice session, pause this video to reference pages 352 and 353 in your Teach Like a Champion 2.0 field guide and read Roll It Out. Now that you've read, think about an upcoming lesson. Identify three places within that lesson where it would be beneficial to use cold call. When you finish, share with your group. Referencing page 353, Draft an introduction for rolling out cold call to your students. Be prepared to discuss the four bullet pointed questions. Number one, what do you expect will be challenging about introducing cold call to your students? Number two, if you are doing so in the middle of a term, what might you need to say about it? Number three, what objections, if any, might you need to field from students? And number four, what ways can you think of to be more effective in introducing its systematic nature, its predictability? its positive nature, and possible scaffoldings. We've come to our final reflection. Please pause this video to complete the multi-flow map. The event is, teacher calls only on students raising their hands. Be sure to reference the entire chapter in your Teach Like a Champion 2.0 field guide and watch the Teach Like a Champion provided videos. Thank you for watching the Cold Call Professional Development.